met a gypsy. What's the process of doing a custom helmet? Like these days, like how does it, how does the process work? But I really just, um, some people have great ideas and some people don't have any ideas. I just, if it's, they come in, I, I always know the first thing to do. I'll tell all helmet painters out there is people going racing these days, take care of your sponsors first, um, in any category. Cause then there's always somebody helping, whether it's mom and pops or yeah. the gas station down the street or the heating and cooling place, or it's, or it's Pinsky, you know? So like I, I try to put the sponsors on first and take care. That's always such a good feeling right away. You're going, you know, and then half the people are going, Oh, I don't need to take care of the, the, you know, the heating and cooling place. They're only giving me four grand. I'm like, four grand's a lot, dude. <laughs> You know, yeah. let's, let's take care of these guys. And you see that smile on their face when they see your helmet, they're going to be like, ah, oh. and when you get done racing it, give it to them, you know? Yeah, yeah. So if you take care of your sponsors, you can keep racing, Yeah. you know? So that's, that's why, that's why I work so hard on my, you know, my sponsors, you know, I need to take care of Red Bull. I need to take care of Gas Gas. I need to take care of Gabrielle. I need to take care of, you know, the people that help us go racing. And that's, um, it's kind of what I do with my hospitality too. I mean, we are hospitalities you know, 20 by 20. And we feed usually 200, 250 people at our hospitality to Supercross. Cause I'm like, we can't win every race, but we can feed everybody. You know yeah, I mean? I yeah. try to even bring, you know, we even do like Pinsky does. We try to bring lobster tacos in and I want Gabrielle to come eat here. I want the Dunlop guys to come over. I want the AMA guys to come in and uh, just that small little conversation with them. Yeah. You know, just makes the, you know, we do have relationships. To, yeah. We do have to visit the AMA guys every once in a while, especially having Barsha on the team, you know, so <laughs> it's, it's nice to go in there and shake their hands and know we fed them the night before. Uh, or something, yeah. you know? <laughs> oh, that's awesome. And so, yeah. So the, the, the come in the sponsors first yep. and then what's then the, I'll, then I'll, I'll start having fun. What's a lot of times they don't know their favorite colors, but I guarantee they know the colors they don't like. Yep. And so that helps me get there. So it's just trying to build a foundation. And then I just, I sketch it in pencil first. So they, and I kind of look them in the eye and see if they're liking, they're following me and, and, um, then I'll show them it. So you sit down with a person yep, and you'll do the actual order Drawing. with the person. Yep. Wow. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. I don't want to stop that. That's the coolest part. Yeah. That you is know? cool. Yeah. I mean, that's how I do it with all the racers and I don't do it with everybody from the public cause a lot, but, but I'm, it's still, I still, that's our roots and I want to, I don't want to ever, I mean, I, I, I just thought about it really, you know, people are, I thought you were retired. I thought you were going to retire. When are you retiring? I'm like, you know what? I really, I really probably don't need to make another jersey or glove or something, but I, but I, I have to keep painting helmets for the next 10 or 20 years. So I have to have a spray booth and, and I can't tell, you know, Jeff Ward or even Sean Palmer or Dixon, Scott Dixon or Jeremy McGrath. I can't tell them, no, I'm not painting helmets anymore. I mean, that just, that just can't happen. I have to paint helmets till I'm, till I'm dead. Yeah. That's <laughs> so, so and it, that, it makes me keep wanting to get up in the morning. Yeah. You know, I love Jeremy coming in and saying, Troy, I need a new helmet. I got a new sponsor, you know, Kawasaki and Max are doing this. And I just painted Jeremy McGrath's kids helmets for him for Christmas. You know, I mean, that makes me feel so good to be second generation painting helmets for him, you know? Yeah. And just you get to you get to listen to what what's going on with their kids and how they're doing and what the, what they're into and what bikes they're riding and what cars they're driving, you know. Yeah, yeah. So that's that's it's and usually when I draw something up like that, it turns into production anyway. Yeah. So then I just hand it, you know, it gets painted downstairs. The artists are upstairs designing the clothing. Come down and go, whoa! It's just like I got done doing some new goggles for uh, Oakley and. Then we went, wow, let's paint a helmet like that. And so I drew up a helmet and then I went, wow, let's do a collaboration together. So now we're that I did a jersey and then we did a pant. And now we're now we're it started with a goggle and a sunglass, and now it's going into jersey, hands, pants, and helmets. And we're gonna race it at Red Bud because it's red, white, and blue. And um and then we said, well, shoot, we might as well make let's make five hundred limited edition kits, you know? And now they're, they just came back today and said, wow, we're going to put that goggle on 20 other athletes that same day around the world, you know, our mountain bike guys and Sexton's going to wear it. And I'm like, oh, that's so cool, you know. So sometimes it just falls the right direction. Yeah, that is so cool. And so then I just like the, the Oh, yeah, the I keep helmet. getting sidetracked. No, no, no. I love, <laughs> I, no, I love it. Uh, but so then you go from that drawing process 
Are, are you painting much these days? Like are you physically I painting? I try not or? to get too much into the booth because I need to keep drawing. Drawing yep. is what I'm most efficient at. So um, so I usually do the pencil sketch first, and then I kind of ask them what colors, um, whether it's a car driver. We do a lot of car helmets um, because the motocross helmets – you know, come so nice these days, you know, everybody's they, they doing do, a good huh? job, you know, and yeah. even, you know, street helmets, but car helmets still come white and silver and black, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. and usually those guys have a little bit of money and they usually have a driving suit and they have a Porsche or an, you know, vintage Indy car or whatever. So they, they give me a, here's my driving suit, here's my car. And I just try to make sure that it works with what they got and makes their package look better. Um, it is fun talking to them about what, you know, how'd you get into this? Your dad raced? What's his helmet look like? You know, and a lot yeah. of times I'll pull up their dad. I'm like, oh, can we steal a little bit of your dad's? And they're like, oh, yeah, that'd be cool. You know, so I try to tie it in where it's a little bit, give their dad a little credit or, you know, um, get a little history into them, you know? Yeah, yeah. And so the process these days of, like, especially with motor helmets, because, yeah, you're right, like the, the decals that come baked in are just so good these days. But so it's like a manual sanding process that yep. that takes place. Is, do you do most of that? Is it by hand or there's like tools? Oh, by hand. That... Yeah, we mask off all the helmet, tape them all off. We have a guy that kind of preps them. Um, and then we they sand them down with like 600 or scotch brite them. Yep. Then we shoot a bonding clear down too so that we get really clean lines. And then I'll pass the work order out to the bet. You know, I have like five helmet painters in there, artists, and I'll hand it, kind of work with who's going to do the most of the work on it. And then um, the office is right by my office, so... That's the most fun is going out and seeing the helmets kind of start coming alive. Yeah. So we'll get like 50% of the, the colors down after, um, you know, whether they're candies or fluorescents, and then we'll give it a clear coat. And then we'll come back and start putting the lettering and the highlights and, um, you know, gold leaf or pinstriping or, you know, sponsors. or Yeah. We kind of lay the sponsors out first where they got to go. Um, so that that's because I think that's, you know, let's keep – I, li- I love doing helmets. It's almost hard to do helmets when there is no sponsors. Yeah, you know, yeah. It's kind of cool when you get to go, oh, I got to have Shell here. Or, and I love some of the stories, you know, like we got the muffler shop. It's, it's going to cover my whole, you know, all my racing. Or or the guy owns a muffler shop and he yeah. he's never thought of putting his – it's so, so funny. Like, you don't want to put a muffler shop? No, I don't want my muffler shop. I go, what? Dude, Joe's muffler is pretty cool. Let me, yeah. And a lot of times <laughs> yeah, I'll yeah. end up doing a new logo for him, you know. I'll end up <laughs> – Doing, let me clean up your logo a little bit, you know. So then that ends up, and then I end up making them stickers and T-shirts, and you know, it just once you do something kind of cool for them, they, you know, I don't, I don't mind that. I go, hey, I drew it up, but it's fine. I want you to use it. it doesn't do any good sitting on this paper, man. So that's awesome. Yeah. Uh, how? What's the turnaround for like a custom helmet these days? It usually takes us a couple of weeks to get them from start to finish, but right now we're about three months. <sighs> it does. It, it. We're not. We're busy. Yeah, right. Yeah, which is a good thing, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So is that almost like, it's obviously one business, but that paint shop, like the Troy Design custom helmet shop, it's like almost its own little ecosystem? It's definitely like <coughs> our, yeah, but I, I'd say half of our, I mean, it's it's where it starts and incubates everything. And then, then from there, like I encourage all my guys not to use PMS colors. Um, we have a paint shop down here, so I want you guys to use. So even on the gear and T-shirts and mountain bike clothing, I think that's kind of one of our secrets. I'm getting out there, but we spray. You know, if we want a, a mustard, I go down and we we paint it and we spray out three or four different mustard colors, and then we go dye the fabric to match that. And then usually the helmet's a little more elaborate, so we'll take that mustard and we'll shoot some pearl over it or candies over it or something. But because um, the helmet always can be a little wild, wilder than the clothing, yeah. But, um, yeah, and then we, we put the paint samples up on the wall and then start building the jerseys and whether it's mountain bike or moto. And there's a lot of crossover there. Yeah. You know, um, a lot of our stuff that we design kind of, whether it starts in motocross and then falls over into mountain bike and then mountain bike kind of falls over into moto. And some of the same designs are on the on our SE5 helmet that are on our D4 helmet. Yeah. Um, and then some of the helmets, like I just had to make a phone call couple of days ago with uh, Joseph Newgarden. He just won the first IndyCar race. I painted his helmet to match the PPG car, which has a lot of wild colors on it. Um, and then my guys liked it so much, his IndyCar helmet, that we said, let's do a motocross helmet. So we painted a motocross helmet, and then it kind of slipped by me, really. It, it came in all sampled. I'm like, whoa, that's cool. That's Newgarden's helmet. It's on motocross. 
And I'm like, dude, I need to call him because I feel bad. I'm like, do you know that we have a motocross helmet here that's uh, with your design? <laughs> he's, he's all, just wrap your arms around me. Do something cool with me. So I made up some stickers this weekend to give him a thermal. And But it's, it starts that way. You do something cool for one of your drivers, and then it turns into production. We are excited to announce the launch of our new membership site, gypsytales.com, packed with exclusive content and perks that you won't find anywhere else. This is your chance to become a part of the Gypsy Gang. And as a special bonus, if you sign up to an annual membership, you'll be entered into the draw to win our custom-built TC125. Gypsy Gang.